I'm in the Museum of Armenian History in the City Hall. This is the town square in 1870. 1920, this is the part of Yerevan by the river, probably taken from the bridge. 1860, we're looking towards Mount Ararat here. And this is what a fairly nice street in Yerevan looked like in 1920. This is sometime between 1918 and 1925. I do not know what these people are protesting, but they do not look happy. This is the ancient uh, hall of uh, Yerevan history. Near the Harazdan River, some caves have been found in excavations indicating that there was life here in the 80,000 to 40,000 BC period and <clears throat> like flint, you know, tools and types of things have been found. Here are some representations of them. We notice a lot of obsidian in them, but interesting to think that the Yerevan area has been inhabited since that time. Here we have a model of the city of Yerevan as it looked in 1943. We see a church. A central square. Here is the maze of Yerebuni. Here we have the railroad, a pretty building to the side that looks like a mosque to me. Okay, and looking around the view of Yerevan in 1940, I think this is very, very cool. This is the Harazdan River, and Ararat would be in this direction. There was a settlement. Um, where Yerevan is now called Shengavit in biblical and ancient times. This painting is a representative, is representative of what it may have looked like, and you can see the Harazdan River in the distance. Jewelry and basins and pots from the 11th to 9th century BC. This statue of the head of a girl is very interesting. It dates from the 8th to the 7th century BC. These large vessels, like the ones we saw in Dvin, indicate uh, a farming or agricultural uh, subsistence. A very interesting shield from that same period clearly a weapon of some kind, and statuettes of gods. A lot of vessels and jars. I like this very much. It's clearly a helmet of some kind. We've moved into the medieval period with a uh, model of a Catholic church, and here is a fresco of St. Peter, Church of, from St. Peter Church of Yerevan in the 7th to 9th century. Interesting coat of chain armor at that time. The frescoes around the walls are very nice here, showing pictures of the uh, history of Yerevan. Here is a priest urging soldiers on in the battle, but these are clearly very interesting personalities and events in the history of the city. Here we have a settlement that could be Yerevan. It has a bridge going over the Harastan River. On the upper floor, the mural seems to take a happier, more modern look. Very interesting. This head is fashioned from a restored skull of 40,000 years ago. They found a skull 
and they have recreated what the person looked like. Fascinating. Uh, we are looking at a very interesting fortress of Yerevan in the uh, 19th century, the 1800s. Um, looking closely with all the domed buildings, to me it looks like a Muslim city. This is the Persian influence. I mean, it, the site was chosen for the ancient um, uh, dwellings because of uh, its inaccessibility. And it was built, quote unquote, to terrify other peoples. This painting depicts the conquest of Yerevan Fort, 1827. And you can see Mount Ararat in the background and the soldiers in here. Uh, we're looking at a typical Krasinyag in Yerevan, or office, from the 1800s. We must, of course, not miss the beautiful Armenian dancers. To me, we have Easter eggs, we have men drinking, we have a child swinging. To me, this is the typical Yerevan life. Happy, carefree, there's a puppet show, all kinds of games, very happy until the Turks or the Persians attack. A very beautiful veil and wedding dress from the late 1800s. You can see a little bit of the Victorian influence, but it's really quite, uh, quite lovely and, and very beautifully preserved. And from the same epoch, we have really beautiful silver jewelry. I don't know where they got the silver from. Really lovely. And again, these look like belts that would go over uh, an ornamental outfit. Very, very nice. Reminds me of Nanny Baker's sewing machine. Uh, here's a painting of, looks to me like a woman living in Turkey because she has her mouth covered. And we're looking at the end of the 18th century, a very beautifully costumed woman of Yerevan. The woman is sitting by a beautiful, beautiful shkaf or chest. Absolutely exquisite woodwork. And the table, and this to me, is one of the treasures of the museum. It is a Christmas tree as would be put in Armenia at the end of the 18th century. We're looking at some of the ornaments that would have been found on the tree at that period of time. The tree didn't come to the United States until about this period, so Armenians, I think, were pretty, pretty uh, ingenious at uh, doing this kind of thing. My mother would have loved this Victorian commode. It's sort of a wash basin in a chest with a mirror above it. And a Yerevan couple Very, very nice. In this uh, uniform, a, an Armenian military commander, Melik Salat, uh, presented himself to Nicholas I in the court of Russia in 1834. Prince Babudov of Russia and Nerses Ashtaraketsi. Guns and rifles of the time as we look back from the other direction at the Yerevan Fortress in the early 1800s. This is a, um, the necklace that the mayor of Yerevan wore in 
the first uh, era where uh, uh, Yerevan was the capital. This would have been from the 1700s. A very interesting map of Yerevan from 1655 by a French map drawer whose name was Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, 1655. I don't know what that is, but you have Yerevan here, and I think you have the Rastan River here, and you have another collection of houses here, and some ruins, and the outlying district. That's really fascinating. Model of a Yerevan streetcar. Mm -hmm. People seem to be leisurely riding in it. From 1924, this is labeled the first general plan of Yerevan. The river on the left and the center of the city laid out. Armenian musical instruments of the period of the republics. Dress worn by an Armenian woman of the period. Now we begin silent movies. Some of these look like the plots must have been really, really, really good. Actually, those from the 1950s, these are the silent ones, 1927. Look at that. I love the Persian influence in Yerevan. I mean, it really did make it look like a Muslim city. When I think Armenia, I think rugs and cognac. Give me one or the other. No, this is not the Liberty Bell. It hung in a church in 1862, about the time of the American Civil War. Beautiful vase, a gift from Moscow. A certificate of the friendship between the city of Los Angeles and Yerevan, Armenia. This is Zoragyuch in 1926 from 1962, a man getting his shoes shined. Some people, it looks like they're looking in at moving pictures into a box. Old man sitting on a bench. Yervant's carriage. This statue greets us as we come home every day. It's down, of all places, it starts Italy Street. Example of a Yerevan New Year ornament. Hasn't been lit the entire time I've been here. And in Yerevan, we're staying in the Best Western Hotel Congress. Very, very nice building.